Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a footer for your website using Elementor Pro. This tutorial is part of a complete Elementor Pro tutorial that you can watch for free by going to ferdy.com forward slash Elementor Pro. Hit enter and there you see the tutorial and all the other tutorials that are attached to that tutorial so you can learn anything you need to learn in order to create amazing websites using Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro yet, let me show you how you can get it. You can go to ferdy.com forward slash Elementor. Hit enter. And you'll be redirected to the Elementor Pro plugin page. There are four plans. If you take a look at the essential plan, that's for one website, but it does not have all the widgets there are. And it's also missing a few important features we need in this tutorial. So I would go for the advanced plan. That's 99 euros or dollars per year. You can install it on three websites. You have premium support and 82 widgets. And you also have the pop-up builder, custom code and CSS, e-commerce features and collaborative notes. Now let's continue with this tutorial. When it comes to footers, and now we don't have a lot of stuff over here, but when it comes to footers and we go to digital marketing agency, glass cow. I take a look a few footers we see a lot as possible people can fill in a form leave a message quick links people can call you connect with you through so social media people you work for so every footer is different i just want to show you how you can create a footer you have in mind well this looks nice how about this one Really simple. So you can do anything you want. Let me show you how I would create my footer. The first thing I want to say is that I want to include this in my footer because I want to show the footer on every single page and I want to include this area on every single page. So I edit this with Elementor. And I click on the I. Then I go to the back end to templates theme builder then i go to the footer and i click on add new click on the x and i start from scratch by renaming this at the footer settings i call this one the main footer publish add a condition i want to include it on the entire website save and close so everything we will build over here will be displayed on every single page in the website so now i go to the first elementor editor and then the home page right mouse click copy and over here real simple right mouse click paste that's how easy it is let me bring it back for now so i go over here to advanced and here i say zero publish then i go to the home page and get rid of this publish but now if i go to the home page look at this it is there. So on every single page, tutorials, we'll see this area recommended because I said that the footer should be displayed on every single page in the website. So since this is over here on every single page, I can hover over edit with Elementor and then I can edit the main footer. So I have this area awesome. Below that area, I want to have another area. I click on the plus. Flexbox, and I want to have one area from left to the right. I go to the style, background type, make it light purple, and then I start with an image. I click over here, I want it to be the light logo. Select. Over here, I go to the width, and I say 200. There it is. And then I go back to the container and I want it to be at layout wrapping. Then I click on the plus and I want to go for social media icons. I drag them here next or before. It can still be a little bit weird to do. There it is. So over here, I click on advanced, go to the width, custom, and I say 
45%. And I want to expand it, grow it. Then over here, I do the same thing, advanced with custom 45 and expand. Here, I bring this, let me see, to the right and here, I bring it to the left. I want this to be in the center, so I could go to the container settings and over here, center it, but I don't want to do that because I want to work with more areas below. So what I would do in this case, click over here, advanced margin, bring it to the center manually. Then I click over here, I go to the style, I want to make use of the custom colors. The primary color is orange. The secondary color is white, great, and then the border radius, let's say 25. Awesome. I want to have more space, not in the rows, but in the spacing. Like that. Okay, now I want to have a new area, a text area. I can drag it here. Then I go to the structure and I drag it here below. So the container, I can call that one the call to action. And then over here, the footer. So the text editor is below. I go to advanced with custom. And then I can say 45 and grow. I go to the style. Make the text white and then I can come up with a text. So I paste it here. This is the text I want to use. Awesome. Next to that, I want to have a menu with a title. So I will create a new container. Container. There it goes. So let me see. Text editor advanced 45%. So it's taking almost 50% of the page. It's also, let me see, text editor. Yeah, it's also on grow. Then I go to container. It goes to the next area because it's now 100%. So I go to content width, full width, and in percentage I say 25. And now it fits over here. I also want to say advanced grow. And over here I want to have a menu. But first I want to have a title. So I go for a heading. I go to the container and I uncheck the padding. Now I wonder where the heading is. There it is. Ah, uh, the style, the color is uh, purple. So I see, don't see the text. So I go to the text, make it white. I make it H3. And then I say best products. Products. Make it smaller. So how about? Twenty and bold. Below that, I want to have a menu, so I search for the menu. I drag it here below, and I make it vertical. By default, it will grab this menu, but I want to choose a new menu. Let me style it first. So I go to the style typography, make it bold. Let's see. 20. The color white, and when people hover over it, it becomes orange. And when it's active, it also becomes orange. When people hover over it, how should it look? Well, nothing should happen, only the color change. And I go back to the style. I think it should not be as bold as it is right now. So let's say medium better. Publish. I click on the eye. And if I click on the logo now, and I click on page down. There it is. We're going to make it use look better. Okay. Now I want to go to the customizer. I want to go to menus, create a new menu. I call this one best 
products. And here I can place some affiliate links for instance, or links to my blog post with reviews about those products. So I can click on next, add items, and I can add blog posts if I want to, I don't have them yet, or pages, and I can also create new pages, or I can use custom links. So this could be an affiliate link. So let's say HPS 30.com forward slash Elementor. That could be an affiliate link. And then the link text is Elementor. Add it to the menu. And then that way, let me add a few other product, products. Publish. So now I close this. I refresh this page. Command R or F5. I click over here and I select the best products. There you go. Then I can duplicate this area. Okay, let's take a look over here. I said 45. Over here, I said 25. Okay, I get it. So I should say 20. Also over here, 20. There's a gap over here space. I don't want that. So I go to style, vertical padding, 12, horizontal padding, zero. There you go. Right mouse click, copy, right mouse click, paste style. Awesome. Best products, best tutorials. And then again, I can create a menu. I will fast forward for that. So I go to the customizer menus, create a new menu and say best tutorials, publish. There you go. So I close this, I go to the homepage, scroll down how to make this text bigger. So let's make this one a bit smaller, 18, copy, paste, and over here, I also want it to be 18. Great. Then I want to have a new area. So I go for a new container within this area. Let's see if I can manage to do that in between somewhere over here. Okay. Then I go to the structure, close this, close this, bring it all the way down. So what I have over here this is the text editor over here. Here I have the best products. Here I have the best tutorials and here I have the copyright area. I go to the container, uncheck, then I go for the text editor and I say option H 2024 30.com. I go to the style, make the color white, typography 18. Then I go to the container and at the style, I say border solid uncheck and at the top I say two and I make it white and I go to the text editor advanced or not copyright I go to the padding and I say 10 or 20 that's fine text editor layout with custom let's say 20% and then over here, I want to have another menu. I duplicate it. I bring it all the way down. There I also say custom width. How about 70%? And I click here and I go to the layout and I bring it. It's already. Let me see. Next to each other. It should be next to each other. Okay, it's not in the same container. That's why it was not working. I click over here. I go to content and I say horizontal. Bring it to the right. 
And here can be more spacing. That's how about a little bit less. Then I publish it. I take a look. Okay. Let's fix that in a minute because uh, the height is not the same. I can do that over here. Like that. Then I go to the customizer. I go for menus, create a new menu. I go for legal pages. Next. This is different in every country. So I can add items, create pages, for instance, privacy policy. So you need to figure out for yourself which pages you need for your country. Cookie policy, policy. GDPR, there's also DCMA, and there are also tools on Google that will help you for free to create those terms and conditions, all those pages and the terms of use. I can have an affiliate disclaimer, publish. Close this and then over here I refresh the page again. And then here below copyright, I can select the legal pages. Those are quite a lot. I can make them a bit smaller. 14, also here I can say, you know what? 14. Publish. Page down. Great. I think these two areas can be a lot smaller. So let me play around with that. Advanced. Sorry, I need to go to the container and then over here. 15. Also here. 15. Or even less. Publish. Then I want to switch them. I think that is visually more appealing. Fifty five. And it's a matter of uh, playing around a bit until you think, yes, this is what I was searching for or was what I was looking for. Okay, then there's this area. So what I will do for this container, for the padding, I uncheck this and I say at the top, let's make this one 160. Then I can go to the CTA, advanced, I can bring this down margin button. Let's go like halfway through. Eight minus 110. Then I would like to, you know what, increase it a bit more. And I would like to say over here Z index one. So it will be in front of the other area. But then I need to go to the call to action at the top and decrease it. So let's say also minus 125. So now if I take a look at the home page. There's a small gap over here. So why exactly that is, I can figure it out or I can just play around. So I think it should be with the footer. One hundred fifty. So I bring the the purple area a bit up. Let's see. No, it's not working. So I bring it back to one hundred and sixty. But at the margin, I can say minus ten. Refresh. No, this is sometimes how it goes. I know what it is already. 
it has to do with the CDA top. So I should bring it a bit more up. And now that gap is gone. Yes. So on every website, I will see this. And that means that on every website on the latest container, I should include some extra spacing over here. So this can be in front of it. So that's what we have created. Of course, we can go to the footer area, style, background. Then I go to the radial, bottom right, and then I change this color to light purple, and this one too. That one, play around with the location. Okay, and that's how you can create a footer. But how does it look on a different device? We're not there yet. Let's see. Okay, over here. What I should have done here at the content, the breakpoint should be none. Then I click over here. I do the same. None. Over here, content, none. So I go to the CTA and at the bottom, I decrease it again. Then I go to the footer advanced. I would like to say 45, uncheck this and then at the top increase it. So I can see my logo and the social media icons. Over here, it's a container. So uh, no, it's not a container. So I go to advanced percentage. I say 50, decrease it, decrease it a bit, 45, make it even 40 over here in percentage. I increase it a bit. And then at the other one, advanced. I know it's a little bit technical, but I only have to do it once. For me, it's important to have best tutorials and best products in one line. I can also click over here. Instead of make it grow, I can make it as small as possible. So I can shrink it. And then over here, I do make it grow. So let me see if I can increase it even further. What else I can do over here at the copyright for the um, container or the, the, the tablet version, I can say next to each other and then here, custom width, full width, custom width, full width. And over here, style, bring it to the center. And then for the mobile or a tablet, I can say, you know, bring it down. So first this menu and then this. And for the smartphone, this is not a good idea how it looks right now. I think this is okay to, to leave it where it is. And here I say 30 on all sides. This can be below each other. So over here, advanced. Percentage, I can say 100. Also over here, advantage, advanced, <laughs> 100. Then I bring the style or the content, let me see, for the smartphone to the center. Also here, content, style, center, only for the tablet, uh, smartphone, sorry. This text, this menu, this menu, click over here. Um, I can go to content, I can bring it to the center, but I prefer left. 
So then it looks like this. So now we've created a footer for every single page. So it doesn't matter to which page I go, this area will appear. And that's how you create a footer that is optimized for all devices. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This tutorial is part of a complete Elementor Pro tutorial that you can watch for free by going to 30.com forward slash Elementor Pro. Hit enter. And there you see the tutorial and all the other tutorials that are attached to that tutorial so you can learn anything you need to learn in order to create amazing websites using Elementor Pro. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, then please like the video and feel free to subscribe for more upcoming tutorials on how to make websites and generate money with them. Have a great day and good luck with your business and with your life.